understand the expectations of Clemson, and I embrace those expectations. Um, listen, this is a program that can compete at the national level. The only reason that I would want to come and coach at Clemson is because we have the opportunity to get to Omaha here. Outside of the fact that this is a tremendous community, a tremendous opportunity, a great place to live and raise a family, this is a great program with a great tradition, but the expectations, I understand those and embrace those. We're going to try our best to do everything in our power to get to the College World Series and win a national championship, and you can do it from Clemson. So as far as the expectations, we will embrace them. Money, you emphasize recruiting this state heavily, and you've seen both at the college as well as other schools in this state how much they've succeeded there. How do you set about bringing the best in-state recruits to Clemson? I think the one thing that I bring to the table right away is I have relationships across this state that I believe are second to none. I think when it comes to me being able to reach out to all the different pockets of this state, I have strong connections in every area. Um, I know Bradley LaCroix, my assistant, has strong connections in this, in, in this state as well. We'll be able to find the best and the brightest players in this state and hit the ground running. But that doesn't mean necessarily that we won't go outside of the state. We'll go into the state of Georgia, Florida, the whole East Coast, the Midwest, uh, the West Coast. We're going to go wherever we have to go to get the best players that fit our program. Back. Just being an alumni of College of Charleston, how difficult, even though it is Clemson, how tough was it to take this job? The hardest part, Darren, about taking this job was calling all the players at the College of Charleston to let them know from me that, that I was going to be leaving them. That's the hardest part. You know, the College of Charleston will always be a special place to me. It's my alma mater. They gave me an opportunity to be a student athlete. I got my degree from there. But the, the hardest part for me is leaving the players. You know, I love the players that I recruited to the College of Charleston, I got, and I had the privilege to coach. And uh, it'll always be a special place. It's the relationships and the players that I had to leave that was the hardest part for me. One more back. Yeah, Coach, um, along that same line, in terms of building relationships here with the current players, what's that process been like? I know it's only been a few days, but how have you gone about reaching out to some of the players that are playing all over the country right now in terms of helping build that foundation of the, those relationships you talked about? My first two priorities is to reach out to all the incoming players. I met with the incoming players on move-in day. Um, I've reached out to a lot of the returning players. You know, I just switched cell phones, so that's been a little bit of an issue trying to get in touch with all of them. But they have, they all have my number. Some of them have texted me and called me and welcomed me. Some of them are here today. I mean, how special is that to have, you know, current players, incoming players here today uh, to support me? I, um, but it's a priority. It's a priority for me to, to reach out to those guys to make sure that from day one that the relationship between me and the players is extremely important. I've reached out to all of our kids uh, that are incoming, uh, our commitments. Uh, so uh, that's been the biggest priority for me, along with trying to round out my coaching staff. And then we've got to hit the ground running and recruiting. How well, uh, excuse me, how well do you know Jack Leggett and have you spoken to him since the hiring was decided upon last week? I know Coach Leggett very well um, and um, I, will, um, I will make sure when the timing is right for both of us uh, to be able uh, to talk to him about this program, the tradition here, all of the things that he accomplished. Um, when the timing is right for both of us, um, we will make that happen. You mentioned that tradition and all the wins and trips to Omaha, how much harder is it now to do that than it was in previous eras? Well, that's very difficult. I mean, and, and there's some things within the rules and regulations of the NCAA that create parity in college baseball. I think if you look at, um, you know, just the fact of 27 on scholarship, 11.7 scholarships, um, that, you know, having to, to offer a kid 25%, uh, it's different than the old days. The old days, you could offer uh, that 11.7 scholarships however you wanted, book scholarships to, you know, 100% if you wanted. You had a lot more flexibility, and, uh, and you could go get a kid from South Carolina for a book scholarship. That's not the case anymore. You have to pass on those guys, and a lot of times those guys wind up being really, really good players. Uh, so I think that the rules that have been put in place over the last few years um, definitely have created some parity. Uh, it does make it harder. You're seeing uh, more and more teams uh, advance from, uh, from regionals to super regionals. And, 
even get to Omaha who may not be traditional powers. Um, but uh, you can do it from here. There's no question about that. The expectation is going to be for us to get to Omaha. That's one of the reasons why I'm here, because you can get to Omaha from Clemson. And uh, that's what we're going to start working extremely hard towards getting to. Well, Bradley, you, uh, you mentioned your, your coaching staff. Have you finalized who's going to be working with you? Uh, Bradley LaCroix uh, will be staying on staff. Uh, and I am working tirelessly uh, to find the right fit when it comes to a pitching coach. Um, so uh, I'm in the process of doing that right now. And uh, hopefully uh, within the next few days, I don't have a timetable on that. I want to make sure I get that right. But I also want to make sure because of the sense of urgency with recruiting that I get somebody in place who can do a heck of a job for us here at Clemson. I also want to make sure I find a pitching coach who is a great fit for our pitching staff when it comes to developing these pitchers, working with these pitchers. Uh, there's a lot involved in that hire that's very important. I am not a pitching guy. So I'm going to make sure that I hire somebody that I can turn over the keys to that car and let him run with it. So, uh, but I am actively engaged in that process and hope to make a decision on that uh, within the next few days, if possible. Time for two more. One back. Monty, your office used to overlook Emanuel AME Church. Um, last week, you know, what was your react? How tough to see a place that you know so well to see that happen? I think it just really puts things in perspective when it comes to life. Um, the important, what's truly important uh, when you see a tragedy uh, like we saw in Charleston uh, the last few days that the people of Charleston and the families involved have to deal with, um, it, it puts things in perspective. Um, I don't know if I have the words really um, to, to say about the impact of something like that outside of um, it's a terrible tragedy to happen in a city of hospitality where people come to enjoy themselves and enjoy life, the holy city of Charleston. Um, it's a tragedy. So it, it's, um, I think uh, we absolutely did the right thing in terms of moving it to today. And uh, out of respect to the city of Charleston and the families involved, and it's a, it's a complete tragedy. And uh, my prayers go out to all their families and all the people that are involved. Time for one more. What's your reaction to Matt Heath getting your old job? I'm so excited for Matt. Obviously, Matt and I have talked quite a good bit. I tried hard, uh, but the opportunity to be a head coach, uh, he has to take that opportunity. I could not be more thrilled for him. Uh, he knows... Um, all the players there, the recruiting there, the system there that we had in place. You know, he's like my brother. You know, he's one of my best friends. So I couldn't be happier for him. Uh, but he and I already are getting, uh, you know, pretty competitive when it comes to some of the recruits. I already told him, I said, hey, buddy, you better, better back off some of these guys because I may try to get them to come to Clemson. But uh, we, uh, he's one of my best friends. He's one of the best baseball men that I know. He's a principles-oriented guy, and I think he will do an outstanding job at the College of Charleston. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.